everybody it's amy at crafty cat and i am back for the hashtag grunge collab with carol laws hi carol um i know that carol's still got a ways on her journal she's doing three or five signatures five signatures way more than i am <laughs> and i didn't realize and so i have my one signature that's full but i think i'm going to continue on on tuesdays like making grungy things or i may start a grungy fall journal so um yeah that's sort of the plan that i have right now since i finished this but um keep watching carol because she i mean you all know she does amazing 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 work so um definitely keep an eye out on her also i want to say please go check out mitzi at 307 junk journals um, she just finished up a journal using the 1955 kit and the ballerina kit, the floral bits in that, and um, a few other kits I can't think right now. But anyways, it's a beautiful retro-y journal, so go check that out. I try to always mention, you know, those people that um, are making things using my kits. So... We have uh, the grungy journal done. This one is sold, so um, it won't be in the shop. But um, yeah, it was so fun to make this carol and I really appreciate it. And we can do another one as soon as you want to. So um, this cover, if you didn't watch all the videos, like you're just watching the um, flip through, is magazine pages that I sanded and then, you know, used paint. I used other things too. There's book page and, um, some stamps and things like that but that was kind of how it started was making a collage using like roughed up magazine pages just a way to think different way to think of using magazines um, so they don't have to get thrown away and then the collage on the front is just all kinds of grungy paper goodness and a Tim Holtz paper doll and then I did put fabric over the the spine <laughs> so anyway and tied it with some crinkly seam binding i put some um eyelets in there so this can be taken out you know you just pull these out if you want to change it so yes that's what we have and it's a nine by six journal and then the pages are all eight and a half by eleven i did tear them so they're a little bit smaller but you know basically that's the basic size put the corners on all that and there's videos for all of it so um in the front here we have the altered bingo card and i made this one a while ago using the collage soup digital or not digital it was the the books and so that's where i got the, the ladies and this paper here and you can write on the back and those are just tucked in there I, I do love that and then this is we uh carol and i used my grunge kits and i have a whole bunch of them if you go to my etsy shop there's all kinds of them but this is the grungy fabric three pretty sure the third the third of those kits this is actually my grungy or no this is in the um the kids in costumes digital is where that one's at and then I got some braille gifted to me thank you thank you all nice and coffee dyed so I just went ahead and put that in there and then this uh, little piece has a journaling card inside right there and that is hooked to a piece of calculus paper <laughs> and then there's a little journal card back here with just a paper clip a rusty paper clip with um, some seam binding and I not thread there and a playing card just you know part of it and then this is some graph paper that has some of that cicada wing paper over the top and it's been grunged and dyed and splattered and all the things and then this piece is a piece of the cover i think or was this one a yeah i'm pretty sure that's a piece of cover yeah okay and then uh, an altered paper clip there that we did for the nothing but neutrals challenge the base was paper clip so that's that and the page is just kind of folded over um i like this folded over page thing not my idea um so you can see the next page that's kind of fun and then this is that crinkle paper this is one of the first things we did when we started this journal nice and grungy and this is a piece i made this 
tag on my own, but I made this envelope. This was not um, something I made specifically for this journal, but it just went so well because it's grungy. And there's a rusty paper clip here, just kind of holding it because it does flap when you're opening the pages and things like that. So I just hooked it right to this tag, which is just coffee dyed paper to write on. There's, it's not decorated. And then here's another tag. That's for my tag kit that goes in the back pocket. This one goes in this front pocket. And then when you close it, you just kind of hook it to that tag just so that, cause I didn't think about it until later. And so I didn't leave a spot. You could tuck it into the pocket. So, but it works fine like that just to keep it from flapping all over. And then here we have one of the altered, uh, tea bags and these are I got lots of questions on these along the way and these are iced tea bags so they're they're larger than just like a regular cup of tea tea bag um, and in the inside and it needs to be probably oh, did I get that stuck there I did uh, pushed a little bit to keep you know so it'll open but there's a little pad of paper there okay and then behind it is just this journaling card tucked in there. And then a paper clip again to keep it from flapping when you don't want it opened. And those are all rusty paper clips. And I need to go over that, show you guys, and I just keep forgetting. That's part of the tea bag. And then here the page is just folded up, kind of made a little tuck so I just put a couple pieces of ephemera in there those are this one's from my grungy kit the kit's just called grungy and then this is the tag kit so those just kind of tuck in there however you want them to and behind it because this page is folded there's another page with a piece of ephemera attached that's a pocket and open this opens like that just writing just a writing spot and a large paper clip on here so you can open and write in there as well that was a fun piece to make super grungy goodness and then this is some um, like baking paper that's just been splattered and wrinkled and all that i just like makes a, a cool sound and this is uh, my industrial kit that's a grungy fabric. I think that's the, the third one as well. A little journaling card. One of the altered, uh, this is a fake um, flash card. I have these numbers in my Etsy shop so you can make flash cards out of whatever. And it's just folded up there so it makes pocket with these lovely ladies in there. And some more math paper. And uh, I think this is the turquoise, grungy turquoise kit. And we made this for the, um, I saw it in Somerset Studio Magazine. And then this little card I made for best friends for the 50 stack challenge, or best friend, because her kitty cat, it's her best friend, probably a first friend, right? And that that crinkled paper and then the grungy fabric again and that's one of the paint brushes that we did well we didn't make this particular one but it was the I saw it in Somerset Studio magazine one of those Fridays some just textury handmade paper and then this piece also just has a paper clip attached on there that you can put anywhere in the journal but there's a little pocket here um, and then these two pieces this was one that we also did for the nut and butt neutrals and i just realized that pin came undone i was like what did it do i heard it pop i'm gonna have to work on that i will get that back together and then this piece um there's a tag in here from my tag kit tucked behind that it's kind of a tight fit in there and there's a journaling card here of an old house behind the playing card. And then this opens, you can write on both of those sides. So that's kind of a fun little pocket. And I will come back and put that other 
piece of ephemera back once I fix the pin. <laughs> it's weird it just popped open like that. All right. And then this is my grungy white, grungy fabric. <laughs> my um, abandoned kit. And then here we have a pocket we did for on video. And this is another piece of the, the cover paper. Just made a tag out of it. That little bit's just folded over old rusty paper clip up, or not paper clip, safety pin up there. And another altered paper clip. It's kind of hard to see. This is not part of the cover. This was a different grungy, um, like a master board, collage master board I did. All kinds of grungy goodness. And there's another envelope pocket. And these are my grungy art dolls. And one of the tags, I think that, yeah, I did a little extra paper there in that old envelope. And I just put this back here because this envelope's pretty fragile and it was kind of coming apart right there. So I just, I didn't want it to get dinged and then end up tearing or something. And then here we have, oh yeah, this paper clip has to come off, rusty paper clip. And that's playing card and it just flips out like that. There's uh, this photo in here of those kids, it's so cute. That little guy. And then there's extra paper. You can tear it off and collage with it or write on it, whatever, whatever you choose. Where did I have that? Nope, it was up high <laughs> to hold the car, the photo. That's what it was, sorry. <laughs> and then this one I think was uh, nothing but neutrals. Or this one might have been the other color challenge. I don't know. Anyway, it was one of those. Super cute though, goes well in this journal. And then here's another little folded over paper and I just put a paper clip, rusty paper clip there. Grungy paper everywhere. It's a cute girl. And that opens a guest check. Um, it's a guest check on a paper bag. The paper bag's folded up and there's just a little tuck. It's not deep, it's just enough to tuck that in. And then there's a map uh, paper back in the bag, but you put other stuff back in that bag as well. And then this just um, was for the color challenge, but went well, so I tucked it back there. And then we have another paper clip. Some grungy old crinkly paper. And there's another uh, one of those tickets that we made for the Nothing but neutrals challenge and another tag from a collage master board. And then in here, this was this math paper that was just folded over. So I turned it into a pocket, just put all kinds of old stuff there. This is a Tim Holtz photo. Those kids cracked me up. And um, so that's just tucked in there. You can write on the back of it or whatever. Just kind of a fun little thing. The braille paper, fall paper, grungy fabric. And then I add, put in my, um, this is where I grew up. And so, but it was a good grungy piece. <clears throat> that old mining town where I grew up. And then I added this postcard. This was gifted to me, but it just kind of went with all of, it has that old small town feel to me. So I just tucked that back there. It is signed right there. And that is it. That is my grungy journal. Carol is still working on her fabulous journal. So definitely, definitely check her out if you haven't. Um, and then I have this, like I said, I think I'm going to continue on in the vein of the grunge. <clears throat> So it's sort of like I'm done, but I'm not done, I guess you could say. <laughs> and I have these new Polaroids in my Etsy shop. There's a whole set of them. And I thought it would be fun to put one of these big windows, you know, have it slide in there. So what I want to do, I'm going to have it slide in this direction rather than top down. So I basically kind of just want the same amount on both ends. Cause it's going to be, it's going to be a little taller than this. 
but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I think that'll probably be about right. And I'll just seal it back up. And then you can also use this for a pocket. You could also add it on to the back if you wanted to. Um, and you could turn it into a flip, huh? Yeah, that might be an idea. Maybe we'll do that. But I also need to cut down this so that I can get to the inside. Very small sliver. So now, see, I can get in there. I'm going to cover this. Even though that does work for the fall thing, I still just kind of want to cover it. So see when that sets all the way in. So I might go ahead and put it like onto a journaling card. So it'll sit right in the, in the pocket there. This one, not really. There we go. Just some glue page. Sorry if there's any bad words on here. Is this for gluing and making journaling cards? <laughs> The only thing with those books sometimes at the dollar store, but they're great for just making things out of. You don't feel bad, or I don't anyway. All right, so we need this to fit in there. So it's about four. Let's turn it over. We'll go less than four a bit. Let's see how that is. I don't want to make it too narrow so this won't fit on it. Yeah, that's fine. And then how tall is this? Five and a half. So we need to make it a bit less than that. So it'll slide in there. I'll probably fold the paper over so that it'll seal it back up and that'll fit nicely. So if we're gonna have that as a flip, we need to hinge it before we glue that on. So it's just a piece of this. So how is everybody? I just jumped right into that hole. <laughs> I apologize. Oh my goodness. I need to say hugs and blessings to Celeste, Anne, and Tamara. Thank you so much for joining me always and kind comments. And yeah, I appreciate you guys very, very, very much. So thank you. And welcome to new subscribers. And welcome back to those of you who have been with me for a while. Or short time or long time. I'm just going to kind of, you know, put it in between the two. And then when I glue it on there, that'll hold that. And then you can hook this to your journal page is the plan. But we need to like back this. See, I just gave myself a whole bunch more work. I was trying to, um, you know, make less work. I could cover it with this. So technically you could write on the top part of the back. That might work well. So yeah, thank you um, all for watching the Grunge Collab. It is so fun and it is fun to see that some people have, you know, made things for it. And it doesn't have to be a whole journal. I just make whatever, a camera or whatever, whatever you want. I could just do that and leave that, but it's torn. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I'll just put that other piece on. If it wasn't torn, I would just do that, but it is. I could put old tape over it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you guys, I, I sort of had a plan, but it just went all haywire. Did you see? Did you see it happen? Did you see the haywire happen? It just went everywhere really fast. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how this works. I'm just gonna, I don't want it totally straight, so I'm gonna put it a little crooked. 
and then this will probably get glued down so it doesn't really matter but there now we have a new flap for that and I'll fold it once I glue it you gotta ink the back of everything so what are you guys up to anything fun and exciting Paul is here. Oh, I am doing a collaboration with Creating with Jovi. And um, there's another person on that. But anyway, my video will be on Thursday. But um, if you pop over, oh my gosh, again, you guys. How many pins is that? Like, this is the third one in, I think, a week. I try to turn it so I don't just pull it off, but then you turn it and it falls apart. I just need to break down and buy a new bottle. I just don't want to, I just want to finish it. There's a lot of glue in there still, but I think it's so um, old that it's just ultra sticky or something. And the pin keeps sticking. So I just used it yesterday. It's not like it's been a week or something. Anyways, um, creating with Jovi, if you pop over it, you'll see her video is already done. And I'll try to remember to link it. I'll definitely link it on Thursday, but I'll try to remember to do it before that so you can see the other people that are participating. And I just have one day of it, so... But there's, there's, I think, 21 videos is what she has planned. So definitely check that out if you can. Oh, I was going to ink this, too. My goodness, I'm all over the place today. I kind of just didn't know what to do, and then I came up and started thinking about it, and came up with an idea. Okay, so let's glue that down. Is that gonna hang up over the top? Not really, not a lot. It is a little crooked, but I'm sure you're all shocked about that. So then I'll just fold this and then that will be a flip, but it has to be right up even. Or it won't, it won't work right. And I'll put a little more glue under there for that edge. I'm so irritated about that pen. Pin, I keep seeing pen. <laughs> wrong, wrong kind. have to get a different pin. These are stainless steel, so they don't rust, but apparently they break very easily. <laughs> okay, then on the inside, so this is going to get, this needs to stay out. This is going to get glued onto here. I guess you're not going to have a whole lot of writing space. So I need, I'm wondering, that's not going to close if I don't trim this off. Because I trimmed the other one. So then you have, um, it's not even. The logistics, you know, of the journal making. Nope, still need more. These are all the things that you have to think about when you're making journals. If it's a tiny bit smaller, I would prefer that than too big. Yeah, that works. 
yay. All right, so we'll cover the front of this and wrap whatever we put on it around. We might collage it a little tiny bit. And I don't know what I'll put in that pocket yet because I didn't get that far, but I'm gonna use these papers. And these are in uh, the kids in costume, this one is. So they're sort of Halloween kids, but they're not spooky at all. They're just cute. Just cute. Yeah, if you get out an envelope and play around, you'll probably come up with something. I mean, it might not be new, I don't know. But you'll come up with something. They're great for new ideas. And then I'm gonna just take another strip of something and put it over there since I kind of tore that too small, but that's okay. Because we need something to go all the way around. So you guys glad that fall is on its way? I'm kind of sad and glad, like I do like it to cool down a touch and um, but not a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. I just realized I did both sides of that. Kind of dopey today. Um, so I'm kind of happy, but I'm also sad because I don't really want summer to end. And my tomato plants didn't do anything. And by anything, I mean, I think I got two tomatoes this year. So I'm really discouraged by that. Hold on, I'm grabbing a different paper. Yeah, I've never had tomato plants that don't make any tomatoes. And I had, there were flowers on them, and I have lots of bees in my yard because I have bee balm and all kinds of things. So that made me not very happy. So I didn't get any tomatoes, really. So yeah, just doesn't really feel like I had summer and then we were stuck inside because of the smoke. I mean, the heat's a given, it's always hot, but the smoke kind of ruined it. Yeah, bummer days, right? But I'm not ready to go back to freezing temperatures at all. But nothing we can do about that, right? I'll just go ahead and wrap that around, even though it's going to just crack probably and break, but because it's old book page. Yep. Them's the breaks, I guess. that right but that's okay it'll still work <laughs> it'll still close it and I went too I stuck it out too far and then we'll have the problem of it hanging over the edge of the that again it's not sticking great so let's make sure it's nice and tight over that edge and it's still gonna be about the same otherwise you're folding the envelope. All right. And then we can have a little piece of the string. 
drape. And this is also in that same kit with the kids. Oh, my daughter, because you guys have asked and have been so kind about saying, I hope she's okay and feeling better and all that. And she really is feeling a lot better today. She said she finally feels like, you know, herself again. So that was good. The biggest problem she had was she kept testing positive <laughs> and she did have a pretty bad headache, but, um, so she couldn't go back to work or anything like that. And she was getting stir crazy because she's like I am. I don't, I, we like to be home, but we have to keep busy is the thing. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing that we do. Well, that, that's a fooey Louie. I like, don't like that other side. I want this side with the browns and the oranges. I really stink at this, Carol. Carol does this and makes it look so easy and I'm always just a train wreck when I try to fold these things. She's just like, yeah, you just, you know, fold your paper. And I'm like, um, it doesn't fold. <laughs> It's always crooked. Okay. Let's do this. It wasn't quite long enough before. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, because you can see all the all the colors, and the bottom's not torn, but that's fine. We're just gonna go with it. So you guys doing anything fun for fall? Starting to have your fancy coffees or any of that. I don't love uh, pumpkin spice coffee. I do love like pumpkin cookies, pumpkin bread, all those kind of things. But I am not a fan of the coffee with the pumpkin spice for some reason. I know, I'm very odd, very odd. I know people wait all year for that, but I don't like it. That was way more difficult than it had to be. And then I do want to put something back there. I'll just take a piece of this and put it back there. Just so there's something to cover up the, the black paper. Not that it has to, but I want it to. And so far we're okay, but I know it, that's a 10 day incubation on COVID. So who knows if we'll get sick or not get sick, but such is life. Yeah, my daughter's never had it. She's never had COVID. Well, we thought she had, I mean, it's possible, I guess she did but it supposedly wasn't here in our area yet when she got really, really sick. Um, she was out of school when they canceled school because she was sick with whatever, I don't know. And then a friend of hers also was sick at the same time. And then he got tested because he had a sibling that has some immune difficulties. And so they had the whole family tested for antibodies or something like that, and he was positive, so apparently he had it at some point. So I'm kind of wondering if she had the very first go round of it and then, you know, built up immunity. I don't know. Anyways, technically, by being tested and whatnot, this is the first time she's had it. I think I will go around so you could put a tag behind if you want. 
if you, oh, and someone, I'm sorry, I'm so bad with remembering who asked me what because I read all the comments kind of at the same time. Um, if I'm going to do a fall kit, and I am going to do a kit called Autumn, and it's a Native American kit. So, yes, I am doing one, but it's not going to be like last year's. It's, it's different. So, just so you all know. And it is just about done. I've been working on it since the whole Sacagawea thing for the 50 stack challenge that got me inspired. So yeah. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> when all I was going to do is the front of this. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I think I'm going to just put this behind. Or do I want, maybe I want the flowers again. I like the flowers. And I liked this yellow flower. Yeah, I think I will do that. I can put the dots around the outside because it's not a very big spot. So yeah, that'll be coming soon to an Etsy shop near you. <laughs> like this week. And I just sort of, like, I didn't pick any particular, it's not about any particular tribe or it's none of those kind of things. I'm not knowledgeable enough on all that. I just found images I like, and they're autumnal. So, that's what we're doing. And then who knows, I might do another small kit of some kind, kind of like I did the Polaroids. I do like fall, it is definitely my favorite. It's just hard to get everything done and then you gotta start working on the Christmas stuff and so that makes it crazy. I really don't like trying to put these in here like this. Because there is just no easy or good way to do it. Mm. I can get that off. <laughs> I know I'm probably making you crazy. Making myself crazy, honestly. If you try to keep it against the front to get it in there, then sometimes you can get it. It sticks to your fingers so bad. If your fingers wouldn't stick, you'd be golden, but they do, so. Got a big old wrinkle in it. There's wrinkles in the plastic already. <laughs> okay, I think I got it smoothed. And then I'll just trim off what's hanging out since I didn't get it all the way, obviously, to the inside. That is always just a bugaboo. It's best if you open up your envelope all the way. That's the smart way to do it. That's kind of a how not to do it. It's still sticking up. Way up there.
morning when I walked, because I, if I walk early enough, the smoke isn't as bad. It kind of like creeps in over the day. Um, we had the thunder. I could hear thunder. And then it just never did anything. <laughs> I was like, if it would rain, that'd be fantastic. Because that would bring that smoke out of the air. But it didn't. So, bummer. I'll just go over this, the plastic, with some rubbing alcohol. Okay. And we're probably just going to mostly use this and the stripes because it's small enough pieces. I don't have the covers, you know, like the number 10 window envelope covers. I don't have them for these kind. We'll just do some longer bits. If you ink this good, it works better. <laughs> Then if it doesn't reach end to end, it's not as big of a deal. So my husband and I are watching this show called Evil. I don't think it's a new show. And I don't know what it's on. <laughs> Sorry, not a lot of help that way. But if you if you do a search, it'll probably tell you what it's on. But anyways, it is crazy. <laughs> it's a little bit disturbing. I'm gonna not lie about that. But um, it's very interesting. It's about people who are possessed. It's all fiction. It's a TV show. Um, but anyways, and so there's this man who's studying to be a priest and a psychologist and a kind of a computer tech person, and they all work together to, you know, try to help people. Uh, it's just, it's crazy, but interesting. I don't know how we got on that, but you know, there's just not always anything to watch, so. And we both just sit there like, oh my gosh. It sort of has, my husband was saying, a vibe kind of like X-Files. I mean, it's different, but that's sort of the vibe. It's very interesting anyways. Oh, I was going to go all the way around to close that, wasn't I? Oh, top. I can still do that. I need to cut this so it's not too long. I forgot. We're, do we're opening from the side. So what do we want to put over there? We need something we can fold. Got the colors, it'll work. And um, we need extra. Yeah, my son, I hardly see him because, you know, now he's back at school and working when he's not at school and has a girlfriend, so. You know, you don't see a whole lot of them sometimes in those situations, but he's doing good. And he's like in school, which is all I care about. 
because he's got to finish that degree. Now that we've gotten this far, right? Gotta bring that down a bit. I'm gonna move this, and then this is gonna have to come all the way over, which there's not really enough of it. But I think it'll be fine. It's just gonna have a card slipping in and out of here. It's not like it has to be. Fort Knox or something. I need, hold on. I want something that's going to be strong enough. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. The bottom's not open. The dictionary page will work. even have to fold it over. So if I fold it over, it's going to go on that, so I don't want to do that. came over yesterday and brought me zucchini so I'm gonna make some zucchini bread she brought me one perfect size for zucchini bread and they're a little bit big that's what they're best for okay and then we still have this but most of it's going to be covered by the Polaroid. I like how these Polaroids turned out. They're fun. Let's just put this speckly paper behind. Thank you if you're still with me. <laughs> it was a long one. Well, without the the flip through, it wouldn't have been as long. But had to show it. It turned out pretty good. I like it. Oh, I did some sad tearing on that, didn't I? Sad tearing. Might do just a little bit of book page back there, or dictionary page. Let's just tear it so it's not so perfect. fingers are so sticky. Oh boy.
Yeah, I think a grungy fall journal, and I'll back this off camera just because I'm just going to put a piece of coffee dyed. It's not anything earth shaking, but let's figure out. Kind of. I want to make sure, obviously, you see. <laughs> See the picture, right? Because what's the point? I think that these um, Polaroids will fit in some of the pockets that are in the Halloween kit, the haunted kit, that just sort of have an auto autumnal look. So uh, that's another option. I think they'll look good in those pockets, these, these pockets. And that's in the haunted kit. And these leaves are in the haunted kit. But they went well with this. It's like Carol Laws always says, um, you get kits from the same designers a lot of times the colors match because you know you're using the same computer and uh, palettes and things like that so it, she's very right about that oh, I kind of wanted that one under this one I don't know why just did <laughs> And then I wanted this under that. Boy, I really did poorly on my planning there. This is a shabby dabby doo -dah label. It's for tea, but you know who's counting. <laughs> the color is what I was going for, not what it said. Again, around the corners. I know I still have to back the back, but that's okay. And that will go in here. We're just going to snip this just ever so slightly. So it's clear that it's a pocket. And I know you're not going to see that flower, but you will when you take the card out. So, and I'll stitch around that and probably put a piece of fabric right there to pull it. And where did my other, oh, I just have this little autumn. That's also from my haunted digital, those words that are in that kit. But it went so well. There we have it. There is our little autumn, grungy autumn truck. And if I had a tag, I would put it back here, but I, I don't think I have. Might have. I guess check that in there. It's too tall. Yeah, it's too big. But anyway, there's a pocket back there. There's a pocket right here. So there's two pockets, three pockets, and then you'll hook it into your journal and you could do a, a little tuck out of that as well. So that is what I have today along with the journal. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.